Hi everyone. Today's video, we're going to talk about retirement question that I got from one of my friends on Instagram. She reached out and she said, I'm trying to plan for retirement and come up with how much I need. And there's a lot of information on the internet about this and everybody has their opinion about how much you should have. We all have different lifestyles. We all have different needs. It doesn't really make sense to have a set amount that works for everybody because that's not how real life is. So what I decided to do is break this video up into three parts. Today, we're gonna talk about why it's important and in what order should you actually prioritize saving for retirement. My next video, we'll talk about how much you need and when you need it. And then in the last video of this series, we'll get into the logistics of how you actually go about saving for retirement and in which account types you'll use. Let's start with why. This one's pretty simple for me because I want to tuck money aside for long term so that eventually I don't have to work. That financial freedom and that security of being able to go to work if I want to work, but if I don't feel like it, then I don't have to. And also having the freedom to travel, see grandkids or family or friends, just visit different countries, that's something that I would like to do in retirement, so I wanna have the finances to support that lifestyle. I am in editing mode right here, and I came to this spot on the video where I was like, oh, Time out, I need a disclosure moment because currently right now I am not contributing anything, like zero dollars to my retirement account because I don't have an income. I saved up for the last two years so that I can quit my job and focus on building money with Maggie. And right now I don't have an income, so I'm just taking a time out. The money that I have saved in the past in my retirement accounts is still growing for me there. And I don't think it's the end of the world to just take a pause. My plan is to, start contributing again once I have income, but right now it's like I don't and I think it's worth it to, to take this risk and potentially have something really great in the future that could add value to my retirement much more so than had I been like too afraid to quit. I'll do another video in the future on the process I went through for quitting my job and getting here and all that, but anyway, the point is right now, just make a plan that works for you. If it means you are you have to take a break from contributing because there's something that's more important to you in the immediate now than the future, the unknown, then do that. But just know that most likely you're gonna reach retirement and you wanna have that money set aside. So if you do find yourself not able to contribute, just make it a temporary thing for a temporary reason and like myself right now i'm building this business and so temporarily i'm not contributing but i know i will pick it back up as soon as i start getting some income so that's all i have to say i'm getting back to editing and hope this adds value to you <laughs> when it comes to you and what you want ask yourself how do i picture retirement what do i want to be doing and how much is that going to cost when you start tucking money away remind yourself every single time you see money going into that retirement account of those reasons because that'll bring you joy in knowing that you're putting money aside for those goals that are really important to you for a lifestyle that you hope to have in the future versus not doing it and just kind of getting by through your whole life and then being in retirement and just kind of working with what you have instead of planning to have the lifestyle you want I did an Instagram poll asking people if they weren't saving for retirement, why is it? And most people said that it's because their bills are too high. If this is your reason, I wanna remind you, most likely this isn't gonna change unless you get really, really proactive about reducing your expenses and making saving for retirement a priority. So then the next question is, well, in what order of priority is saving? If you're having a hard time meeting your current needs, then putting 10% aside for retirement just isn't gonna be realistic for you because you need that to pay your bills. So the first step is gonna be to get to a point where you can feel comfortable with it, but you need to come up with an action plan, otherwise it's never gonna happen. It's not, you're not gonna wake up one day and think, oh, my expenses are all of a sudden really low, so I'm just gonna start saving for retirement. That's not gonna happen, and we know that because of statistically looking at what people have in their retirement accounts. The average American at the age of 56 to 61 has $163,000 saved up for retirement. That's the average. So that's taking those people that have a ton of money and the people that have very little and combining it together. The median amount, the person that's right in the middle, has $17,000 saved for retirement. So 50% of people have more than that and 50% of people have less than $17,000 saved up for retirement 
at that age where most of us are wanting to retire probably, getting tired of working for the last 30, 40 years plus, you're not gonna get there unless you start somewhere. So looking at those numbers, we can see that if we don't take action on this, it's not gonna naturally happen. Knowing that it's hard to save when we don't really, when we're having a hard time getting by is what should push you forward into creating an action plan so that you can get to a point where you're comfortable saving for that long term. So just an overview of the areas that I think is like a plan of action for you is, first of all, make sure you have a small emergency fund, something that can cover tires if you get flat tires or a plane ticket if your grandma gets sick and you need to go visit her or anything like that. Like have some money set aside that you can tap into if you do actually have an emergency that could possibly happen. And then once you have that 500, maybe a thousand dollars if you can, then tackle that really high credit card interest so that you can start directing some of that money into retirement. Once you can knock that out, then you can start putting that money aside. Now, there is something that you wanna ask yourself and find out is, does your employer offer a match in your retirement account? If they do and you're not putting money in, then you're just leaving that free money on the table and that is silly. <laughs> Do your best to not leave that money on the table. Find out what the match is and then at least contribute enough to get some of that match in your account. Whether it's say they contribute 3% of how much you contribute up to 6%, you need to contribute 6% so you get that 3%. But if you can't afford it, then contribute less and the match is gonna be smaller, but at least it'll be something and it's free money. So if you can get into the habit of doing that, then you're not leaving that money on the table. And you have to weigh that out between the interest rates that you're paying on your credit card debt. If you're paying 17, 20, 25%, it's most likely gonna be more beneficial to get that paid down, then start aggressively tucking money away towards retirement. It doesn't have to be aggressively, but I'm just saying that because if you're paying down this debt, then all of a sudden you have that money freed up. You can put a large chunk towards your retirement to kind of catch up on what you've been missing through those years of having to pay off the credit card debt. If you don't have any credit card debt, then you can focus on putting money aside. And if your bills are too high to do that, then it comes down to reducing those bills. And there's several things that you can do to decrease your expenses. I have a video on that that you can watch for some ideas because if you feel like you're not putting money aside for retirement because your bills are too high, refocus on that why, why it's important to have money for later. Get motivated to reduce your bills because most likely it's just not gonna happen. Time's gonna happen, bills are gonna increase. That's kind of the American life unless you're very proactive about not letting that happen to you it's probably gonna happen to you because as we can see with the numbers, it happens to pretty much everybody. So I don't want that to be you and I wanna help you with this process. It doesn't have to be overwhelming, it just has to be something that is thought about, thought through and put into action. So your first assignment for today is to come up with your why. Why is it important to set money aside for later? What is it that you envision doing in your retirement? What would you like to do? I don't want you to be sitting around watching Netflix or cable TV or something because that's all you could afford to do. If that's all you want to do, great. But if that's all you could afford to do, you know, you didn't live this long life to get to that point and all you can afford to do is watch TV and maybe go like to the diner or something, I don't know. <laughs> but by that time you've worked really hard and I want you to be able to enjoy your life and your time, the remaining time that you have on earth and there's only one way to do that and it's to prepare for it. So I'll help you through that. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see these videos coming up. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and let me know in the comments below if you're saving for retirement. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day. See you on the next video.